bother y'all or I'm trash y'all because I understand y'all have your calls. But yeah, once they start calling me, now I gotta do my job, right? Okay. Well, so we're almost. I'm not saying that you can't stand them. Right. Just can't we're almost that. done. Oh. We're almost done. We're gonna turn it down. Still can't use it. What's the loss? 300 yards? What? It's 300 feet. Whatever, 300 feet each way. If I can hear it, 300 feet. That's a citation, which I'm not even trying to issue with the citation, so I'm giving you guys the opportunity to just turn it on. In, uh, Atlanta? Yeah. And then after 11 p.m., it's 100 feet from wherever you are. But we can use our voice? Yes, ma'am. That's fine. That's just that's all of it. That's fine. I got a really loud voice. That's fine. I got a really loud voice. Jesus is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Christ and he is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. You are to live a holy life separate from the wickedness of this world. to proclaim the truth of Jesus Christ. Amen. You thought the speaker was loud. Well, my voice is very loud as well. Yes. We are here to tell you the truth. We are not here to sugarcoat it for you. Yes. The, the church will lie to you. They will tell you it's okay to live in wickedness, but it's not okay. Yes. It's not okay to live in homosexuality. Wow. It's not okay to celebrate the wickedness of Halloween. Amen. Satan does not care about you. Hallelujah. Jesus is the one who died for you. Amen. He's the one who cares about you. Amen. Satan yes. doesn't care Amen. about you. Amen. Only Jesus does. Jesus cares about you. Amen. His blood was shed for you. Amen. And you guys walk around in your wickedness. Amen. One day you will say, why? Why did I not listen to the prophet? Why did I not listen to the trumpet that was blasted whenever he's coming? Jesus is coming soon. And we are here to tell you, we are here to warn you that Satan does not care about you. Satan is the ruler of this world. But when Jesus comes back, he's going to reign forever. And you will bow to him and you will wish that you listen to us. You will wish you listen. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is king. Amen. Jesus is the king of kings and lord of lords. Hallelujah. And he is coming. Hallelujah. You have been warned. The wrath of God is coming, guys. The wrath is coming. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Amen. You will be sorrowful the day that Jesus comes and that you did not listen to the warning trumpet on the watchtower. We are warning you that Jesus is coming. Amen. You cannot live a lukewarm Christian life. You have to give your life to Jesus. Amen. You have to honor him every single day. You have to read what the word says, what the Bible says. Not what a preacher tells you, not what a church tells you, but what the Bible says. You thought the speaker was loud. Well, my voice is very loud as well. And I am here to warn every single one of you because I love you. Hallelujah. I'm here to tell you the truth in love. Yes. If the building was on fire, you would want me to warn you. Yes. You would want me to warn you. But for some reason, we warn you. We warn you about hell, but you don't want to hear it. We warn you and we warn you and you warn you. If the building was on fire, you would appreciate us. Yes. But we want you to live eternally with Jesus. Hallelujah. That is the love that we have for you. Hallelujah. Don't you get it? Jesus is coming soon. Yes. He's coming soon and we love you. We wish for none to perish. Jesus wishes for none to perish. We don't want you to perish. Jesus doesn't want you to perish. Jesus is king and every knee will bow and every tongue will confess. Every single Satanist here, every single witch here, you will bow and you will confess.
us one day. And you can laugh now, you can mock, you can scoff now. But one day you will bow and you will confess. And you will wish you listened to us. You will wish and wish and wish that you listen to us. But it will be too late. It will be too late then. So repent and believe on Jesus Christ today. Today. We are not promised for tomorrow. Today is the day of repentance. Today is the day of salvation. Hallelujah. Perilous times are here. I had a lady say that perilous times are not here. Look around the world. You see the way the world is? We are living in perilous times. You think perilous times can't come to America? It can. We're telling you the truth in love. Jesus died for you. He's coming soon. He's coming. And he's the King of kings and Lord of lords. You will bow to him one day. And you will have to say to him, you will have to say to him, he will see everything that you're doing right now, everything you will do tomorrow, and you will have to be accountable for it. We will all be accountable. You cannot live in witchcraft. You cannot live in Satanism. You cannot live in your wickedness. Halloween is a wicked, wicked holiday. Jesus will hold you accountable for celebrating this wicked, wicked holiday. You are supping up with the wickedness of this world. You are supping up with the Satanists of this world. A lot of people have come by today and said that they are Christians, but they are celebrating this wicked, wicked holiday and supping up with Satanists. We are here to tell you the truth. The truth is Jesus is coming soon. They made sure I cut it off. Yeah, they made sure I cut it off. Yeah. They were too loud. Man, why can't y'all talk about God? Yeah. God ain't never too loud. We're not, we're not, yeah, we're not in freedom no more. There's no free speech anymore. Yeah. Hallelujah. You will see one day that we loved you enough to tell you the truth. You will see one day that Jesus will be here and he will reign forever. Forever. Satan will not reign forever. Amen. Allah will not reign. None of these false little G gods, little puny gods will reign. Jesus will reign forever. I rebuke all of these witches. I rebuke all of these warlocks. I rebuke all of your wickedness in the name of Jesus Christ. All of your shedding of innocent blood will be held. You will be held accountable for it. You will be held accountable for all the innocent blood that you have shed. Amen. Hallelujah. All of you Satanists will be held accountable for all the innocent blood that you've shed. Jesus is coming soon and you will burn in hell for the innocent blood that you have shed on your wicked, wicked altars to the false light. The false light of Lucifer is the false light. The Baphomet is the false light. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody can get to the Father except through Jesus Christ. We are here to proclaim the gospel of truth. Turn from your wicked ways now before it's too late. That's all I got. That's all I got. My voice is... Lucifer will burn. He will burn and he will be happy that you burn with him. But Jesus is not happy about that. He wants you to repent. 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 For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent, repent, repent.
repent, repent. Those drugs, 
It's only temporary. The sex. It's only temporary. But God is eternal. Jesus is eternal. Jesus does not take pleasure in the death of the wicked. He wishes none to perish. You cannot celebrate Halloween and think that Jesus is going to hold you accountable. Repent. Repent. Jesus will hold you accountable for celebrating this wicked, wicked holiday. Repent, repent, repent. Babies are slaughtered and kidnapped more during this wicked holiday than any other time in the seasons. Why is that? Why is that? That's because Satan does not care about you. Repent, repent. Satan would love for you to stay lost. Satan would love for you to continue the way that you're living. But Jesus wants you to live in peace. Jesus wants you to live in the true love, the true gospel. Repent, repent, repent. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This holiday 
of death. Amen. Hallelujah. Why, as a Christian, would you celebrate a holiday of death? Why? Repent. Repent. I believe the gospel. We have warned you. We have blown the trumpet because we love you. Jesus is coming. And we pray for every single one of you because we care about you. We don't want you to perish. We care about every single one of you. It doesn't matter what you've done. You can come to Jesus now as you are. Repent and change from your ways. Now! Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus says, come as you are. But when you come to Jesus, he wants you to change. He wants that peace in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. We want you to have that peace in your life. Yes. We want you to have that. You have no idea what you're missing out on with Jesus. Satan doesn't care about you. These witches don't care about you. These warlocks don't care about you. They worship the father of lies. Their love is a lie. Jesus' love is true. Jesus' love is true. Satan is a liar. He's a murderer. Satan is a liar and a murderer. Amen. Satan. Satan is a liar. Lucifer is murdering your babies. Lucifer is shedding innocent blood. And yet you guys are out here celebrating with him. When you celebrate Halloween. When you celebrate Halloween. You might as well be celebrating innocent blood being shed. When you celebrate Halloween, you might as well be celebrating all of the blood that's been shed on every single satanic altar. And I come against every single satanic altar, every single witch, and every single warlock. Your God is a liar. Can you not see everything that's going on in the world? The Bible says in the end days, the Bible says in the end days that everybody will be walking around like it's no big deal. And he will come at a time that you will not know. But our Bible also says we will know the end days. We will know it by the seasons. We won't know the day or the hour. But we can see the seasons arising to Jesus' return. Jesus is coming. You will be without excuse. We love you to tell you the truth. Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent. Before it's too late. You have been warned. I used to be just like you guys. I used to be a witch. And I was miserable as a witch. I was miserable. But God gave me peace. And God can give you peace. Like he gave me peace. You will be without excuse. Absolutely no excuse. The wickedness of this world will not change until he comes back. And we want you to be on the right side of the living God. Jesus Christ. So I tell you one more time in warning, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Satan does not care about you.
got you! Amen. Repent! You wish he was dead. You wish he was dead because you don't want to be accountable for the things that you do. But he is a lie. You will be without excuse. You have been warned. You have been warned. I will be praying for every single one of you. You can come to Jesus today.